Scrum.org was founded in 2009 by Scrum co-creator Ken Schwaber as a mission-based organization focused on helping people and teams solve complex problems. That mission drives everything that we do. The fundamentals of Scrum are empirical process through evidence-based inspection and adaptation, self-managed, empowered teams who are closest to the problem and the work to best make decisions, and continuous improvement based on what is learned on an ongoing basis. The people practicing Scrum are comprised of a small team called the Scrum Team. The Scrum Team is made up of a Scrum Master, a product owner, and developers. We start with an artifact called the Product Backlog, which is an emergent ordered list of what is needed to improve the product. It is the single source of work undertaken by the Scrum Team. The Scrum Team meets at the start of every sprint in an event called Sprint Planning. During sprint planning, the sprint backlog composed of the sprint goal, why, the set of product backlog items selected for the sprint, what, as well as an actionable plan for delivering the increment, how. The developers meet each day in a daily scrum to inspect progress toward the sprint goal and adapt the sprint backlog as needed, adjusting the upcoming planned work. An increment is a concrete stepping stone toward the product goal. The sprint review is used to inspect the outcome of the sprint as the scrum team presents the results of their work to key stakeholders and progress toward the product goal is discussed. And the sprint retrospective, where the scrum team inspects how the last sprint went and identifies the most helpful changes to improve its effectiveness. Scrum's artifacts represent work or value. They're designed to maximize transparency of key information. Each artifact contains a commitment to ensure it provides information that enhances transparency and focus against which progress can be measured. For the product backlog, that's the product goal. For the sprint backlog, that's the sprint goal. And for the increment, it's the definition of done. And to be effective with Scrum requires something more than just following the mechanics and the fundamentals of the framework. It requires a mindset, a way of both working and thinking, and most importantly, trust. Leadership must trust the people closest to the work, those who are doing it, to make decisions about the work, while the members of the Scrum team must trust each other as well. Scrum team members need the ability to be flexible and have a longing for constant feedback and improvement. Scrum teams need to focus on delivering value to users, customers, and stakeholders every sprint. They focus on the product and the sprint goal while always adhering to their definition of done. Not only does the Scrum team understand the Scrum values of courage, focus, commitment, respect, and openness, but they live them and help others do the same. This is what we call professional scrum. Ken Schwaber describes a professional as someone who follows established rules for a profession. He also adds that the be of professional means embracing a set of ethical standards. These standards both unify members of the profession and define that profession to the outside world similar to the Hippocratic Oath for the medical profession. Scrum.org provides thought leadership, training, certification, and free ongoing learning resources to help people get started with improving their agility and growing their knowledge and capabilities over time. This work is all based on a common set of competencies. Scrum.org supports people wherever they are on their learning journey, whether you are a beginner, or a highly experienced practitioner, we help you to grow over time with ongoing learning opportunities. There are also opportunities to learn and grow through the Scrum.org community. Community members share knowledge and gain new insights from each other, leveraging forums, blogs, and much more. So what makes Scrum.org different? Each Scrum.org course, certification assessment, and broader learning journey is based on a validated and proven set of competencies. 
Each competency has a series of focus areas that are used to drive your individual learning, Scrum.org course material creation, and our assessment questions. Scrum.org training provides a hands-on activity-based learning experience using a consistent set of materials around the world, no matter which of our professional Scrum trainers is teaching that course. Each course explores real-world challenges to help students apply what they learn in their roles once back at work. And each Scrum.org course is assigned two stewards who work with the professional Scrum trainer community to crowdsource the maintenance of the courseware. The stewards are ultimately responsible for collecting input on courses and providing updates as required. On the path to becoming a professional Scrum trainer, or as we call them PST, candidates must have several years of Scrum experience. Once they apply to become a PST, they go through an extensive process which includes interviews, validation of knowledge, training, train the trainer events, peer reviews, and much more. PSTs bring their own style and experiences with a consistent delivery of Scrum.org training from around the world. So you know each course we teach is aligned with the professional Scrum and all of your teammates are learning from the same course materials. Scrum.org has over 350 professional Scrum trainers and more than 100 training partner organizations around the world who have taught several hundred thousand students. Our professional Scrum certifications are globally recognized as evidence of the highest level of Scrum knowledge. To receive professional Scrum certification, you need to prove your knowledge, your understanding, and ability to apply Scrum in the real world. Tests are decoupled from training to validate your learning, whether learned in a Scrum.org class or in other ways. Although each Scrum.org training class includes a free attempt at a Scrum.org certification, you still need to prove your knowledge by passing the assessment. Once you receive a professional Scrum certification by passing the assessment, you keep that certification and remain listed on our website as being certified forever. You do not need to retest as you've already proven that knowledge, nor do you need to pay additional money to retain that certification.